and on your side. This is KTBS 3 News Midday. Hello everyone, I'm Jade Belexa. Thank you for joining us this midday. Shreveport police are investigating a shooting that left one person injured. Happened around 945 last night outside the Clover Inn in the 5200 block of Monkhouse Drive. We're told the shooting happened in the parking lot. The victim was hit in the hip and then ran inside the hotel. He was taken to Oshner LSU Health Shreveport for treatment. Police say the shooter ran away. We'll keep you updated as we find out more. A shooting in Hallsville left a man dead this week. Deputies responded to the shooting in the 3200 block of Walker's Mill Road in Hallsville around 830 Tuesday night. The Harrison County Sheriff's Office said 44 year old Kevin Rogers died at the scene. Bossier police have arrested a 17 year old in connection with the shooting on Sunday. He's a minor, so his identity isn't being released. He's charged with second degree battery and illegal use of a weapon. Another 17 year old was shot and is said to have non life threatening injuries. In Shreveport's MLK neighborhood, many people are still dealing with the trauma and the aftermath of the 4th of July shooting that left four dead and seven injured. Therapists and clinical workers in the area are stepping up to help. KTBS 3's Brittany Breeding shows us what you can do. More than a week ago, hundreds of people were running for their lives after a gunfight broke out at a 4th of July party. Mental health workers say that kind of flash flooding in parts of southwest Arkansas kept crews busy removing trees, closing roads and responding to emergency calls yesterday. Columbia County OEM Director David Nelson says that there were trees down and power outages, but the main issue was road closures due to high water and emergency crews say they had to respond to several stranded drivers. Now let's check in with Neil Shaw for what we can expect this pre-Friday. Well, not that repeat performance, and let's hope so never again or not for a long time. All right, see you soon, Neil. Truancy has always been an issue with high school kids wanting to play hooky, but local and state school leaders across Louisiana are grappling with a new problem. Parents of elementary school kids are not getting them to school. In tonight's next installment of her investigative series, Johnette Magner looks at the alarming elementary school truancy numbers and the reasons behind them. According to her sources, a major one is transportation. Because of state regulations, there's no funding for kids who live within a mile of their school to hop on a bus, and their parents often won't make them walk, especially in bad weather. Multiple schools across our parish in on a day like today, it's raining right now. There are children who did not make it to school and they're not going to make it to school in the cold and the rain. You can see the full story on elementary truancy at six tonight and on our website at KTBS.com slash extra. The Caddo School Board is looking to select a new representative to fill the District 7 seat. They officially declared the seat vacant. The deadline for applications is 4 p.m. on July 19th. You'll need to provide your age, address, and why you'd like to serve on the school board. Candidates will be interviewed July 20th. That meeting starts at 3.30. The person will serve the rest of the term that expires in November. Today, Texarkana College is hosting a community career fair from 2 to 6 p.m. More than 30 employers from different industries will be there looking for new hires. The fair will offer a free professional headshot as well as workshops to help with resume writing and interviewing skills. It is time for a quick break, but when we come back, a check of our weather and the brutal triple digit heat. Then we're wrapping up our week in Claiborne Parish and the cherry on top lunch at Homer Seafood right after this. We've got a ways to go until the end of August when all this crazy mess will start to cool off. It is a hot summer. Thank you, Neil. It's time for our community caravan where we highlight spots around the Arklatex. And this week we've been rolling through Claiborne Parish. Join us from Homer Seafood now is KTBS 3's Patrick Dennis. Hello, Patrick. Hey there to you, Jada. Thank you so much. Yeah, we're live for you here, the community caravan. At Straight ahead, we head over to our health watch. From convenience stores to online, a birth control pill will be readily available without doctor's orders. More on that.
The FDA just gave the first over-the-counter birth control pill the green light. The O pill will be for sale without a prescription at drug stores, grocery stores, and online. The manufacturer is determining the price and when it will be on the shelves. The FDA says this pill is safe and is expected to be more effective than other non-prescription contraception. During testing, the most common side effect was irregular bleeding, headaches, dizziness, nausea, increased appetite, cramps, or bloating. Like many people, kids and teens struggle with mental health issues during the pandemic. But a recent study is showing not only did they grapple with mental health issues, they also dealt with eating disorders, which have been on the rise. ABC's Justin Finch explains what to look out for. During the pandemic, there was a significant increase in mental conditions in children and teens. When we come back, we're headed back out to Claiborne Parish. That's where we find some familiar faces this midday. A live report is straight ahead. It is time for our community caravan where we highlight spots around the Arklatex and this week we've been rolling through Claiborne Parish and joining us now from Homer Seafood is Patrick Dennis. Patrick, you've been chowing down on some French fries I saw earlier. Are they good? <laughs> Well, yeah, it was a shrimp. It was a shrimp. I didn't touch the fries there with it. But yeah, we're at Homer Seafood. Come up here and meet great people, but also hunting fish at the same time. We'll send it back to the studio. Sounds like a little bit of everything in Claiborne Parish, including Dina Carter. She's going to be there in October. How about that? All right, thank you, Patrick. And a reminder, get your tickets for this year's KTBS 3's St. Jude Dream Home. Less than 4,000 tickets are left. If you buy your ticket today, you'll be eligible to win the house and the car, a 2023 Mazda CX-30, thanks to Moffett Mazda and the Moffett family. The house is valued at $650,000 and is a four bedroom, three bath with a three car garage. Tickets are $100 and the drawing will be August 27th from one to three here on KPXJ. To find out more, go to ktbs.com slash St. Jude Dream Home. And we're just a one day away from the Red River Balloon Rally, a family friendly hot air balloon festival. And our Brittany Breeding was at the Louisiana Downs this morning and shows us what you can expect if you head out there this weekend. Here at Louisiana Downs, everyone is gearing up for the Red River Balloon Rally. And it is time for a quick break, but when we come back, we're talking tech. Hey, Jamie. If you've shopped online at all this week, get ready for the scammers. I'm Jamie Tucker coming up, how to spot some of the worst scams on the planet, and we're going to talk to a scammer to see what they're up to.